guys, it's Megan. So today I'm going to share with you the products that I have chosen for Finish 6 by Summer. And um, I am really excited to finally decide to do another one of these projects. I wasn't sure. There's like so many ideas rolling around for what to do for the next project. We have Amber's Finish 4 by 4th of July. Sharice is doing Finish 7 by Summer. And um, I know that Emily Runyon is doing Finish 17 samples by the solstice which is really cool um and so there's just so many good ideas going around and i was like overwhelmed by what project to do did i want to do a project at all and there are some products that i have wanted to focus on and i think that this project will be perfect for me it's six products which is like a fairly like it's a good group of products, but it's not like too many or not too few. And um, the summer, by summer is March, no, it's not, June 21st. And I really wanted to do the uh, July 4th one because that's my birthday, but I'm going on vacation over like that last week of the project over my birthday. So I didn't want to commit to like that you always know that the last like week or so of a project is like the final stretch just to like finish out banging out products and I didn't really want to worry about that around my birthday so that that's really the reason I chose the summer one over the 4th of July one um but I chose six products that I'm really excited about that I was going to try to use up anyway and um two or three of them I am not sure about but we will see so the first product i am going to focus on is my terry mugler angel perfume and i have not marked any of these i i'm not going to mark this one like at all because this is one that's like a reusable thing and it was more expensive because it was reusable and i don't want to have marks all over it if in the future i decide to refill it and reuse it so um that is how much i have left there's not a lot left of it. If I had to guess, I would say it's between like a third and a fourth of the bottle left. Um, I got this last May after I graduated. So it's about a year old. Well, it will be about a year old. And I just really want to just finish up this perfume. And I, of course, again, accumulated a bunch more perfumes that I'm going to try to work through throughout this year. Um, but this is my one that's closest to being done and I have really, really enjoyed wearing this fragrance. It's a, it's supposedly the first Oriental Gourmand fragrance ever made. And I wasn't sure of it at first um, because I loved it in a sample, a hair, hair mist sample that my friend Jen gave me. And then I really wanted to buy the perfume and I didn't think that it smelled the same at first and I didn't think it lasted on me, but I've been getting more compliments like even hours, hours after I applied it. So I guess that it does last on me. But anyhow, this is my first product that I'm going to try to use up. Then I am working on my Kate Somerville D'Lo oil and I haven't marked this one either, but I am to here. There's this awesome window that you can see through. So I'm about exactly halfway done with this product and I I like this product but I do not think I will repurchase it it's very expensive for the amount you get I love the scent of it though it's so relaxing to me now I didn't like it at first but now I love it um I only use this on my face they say that you can also use it on your body and your hair but I feel like you would just go through this so quickly and it was $65 for one fluid ounce, which is insane. And I bought it around the same time as this perfume because after my graduation, I went crazy and bought everything. So this as well is about a year old and it has a 12 month expiration. So I do want to try to use this up and um, I do like it. I don't love it, but I definitely enjoy using it and I use it every night as like in addition to my serum, I use this as my oil. So I really do like that and that won't be a problem. Okay, this is kind of like, kind of a cheat because I included this as like a bonus item in my finish five by Cinco de Mayo, but there is like no way I'll be able to use this up by May, um, but possibly by June. So 
This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. And honestly, you can't, this is basically completely full because I really haven't used this a lot. And like you guys know, I'm using my Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation in my Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. Um, so I really want to use this up in this project. It's one of the last foundations that I have to use up. And I think that this will be a nice foundation um, leading up to like summer because this will be May, April, May, and June are like getting warmer, but it's not like the peak of summer where it's super, super hot. So I think that I will still enjoy this in those like months and it's still like freezing cold and it's like April. So who knows what the temp temperature will be this year, but um, I'm going to try to use this up and I hope that I like it. I, like I said, I haven't really used it a lot um, to know if I like it or not, but you guys know I mix foundations a lot. So if I don't like the way one performs, I'll just mix it with something else and I get through foundations quicker that way anyhow. So this is one of the products I am going to be focusing on. Okay, this is so, so shocking to me. This is my RMS Living Luminizer. You're gonna be shocked too. Look at that pan. Like, look at it. <laughs> what? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I don't have a lot of it left, and I just want to use it up as quickly as I can. I use a dry beauty blender or, like, sponge like this to get the product and apply it and that probably uses up more product than um just applying it with your fingers but this applies it so nicely and you can like blend it and stuff so I have been using this a lot lately and really have been enjoying it so I do want to use this up I hope to use this up within like the first month and a half or so of this project and um I don't think this will be a problem to use up at all I just need to remember to apply it most days that I wear makeup. Okay, this is <laughs> kind of going to be interesting. Just, I don't know, this is just gonna be kind of an experiment. So in um, my swap that I did, did with Ellie, in the set that she gave me with the Dior Overcurl Mascara, it also came with this mini eyeshadow palette. This is called Mon Montagne, Montag, something like that. Okay, so it is so cute. Look how small it is. And it comes with a cute mirror. And the colors are just so neutral and perfect for every day. Like, you could use these as crease shades, blending shades, liner shades, highlight shade. It's just really a versatile palette. But um, I haven't been reaching for it because it's so small. And I feel like I need to put it in one of these projects or else I'm really never going to use it. So I'm going to put it in this project. Maybe I'll finish it up. Maybe I'll hit pan. Maybe, I don't know. Um, it'll just be interesting to see, <laughs> like, if I can use it up or whatever. Because I'm, I'm not doing pan that palette or anything like that. Because eyeshadows aren't really something that I feel like I need to use up. They're just something I like to experiment more with. Um, but since this is such a neutral palette and since it's so cute and so small and I probably will never really use it unless I put it in one of these projects, I thought that I would challenge myself and just see what happens with this. It's kind of an experiment, like I said. And then my last product in Finish 6 by Summer is my MAC Perma Plum Liner. So this is something that Natasha gave me a few years ago. I love this color. It's like a deepened plum. It's so similar to my Rockstar Liner by Urban Decay. And this one, like, can you even tell a difference? Um, my Rockstar, as you can see, is very small. This is in my Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. It should be used up very soon. And that, then I thought that this would be a perfect time to use up my Perma Plum because it is something I wanted to use up this year. And I just love this, like, dark purple as my liner as opposed to a black. I just think that it's really pretty but still defining and... Um, so, well, I don't know if I'll be able to use all this up um, in the next three months in addition to the Rockstar liner, but we will see. And if I do, that would be cool. If not, I'm still going to enjoy it. So those are my six products that I have chosen for my finish six by summer. So excited about this. I don't, 
I don't remember who came up with this. I I feel like an idiot. I don't know who did it. Um, but if it was you, please let me know. I'm sorry that I totally don't know. Um, but I'm so excited to do this and I am wary about some of these, but I'm excited about seeing if I'll be able to use them up and you, you know how it goes. Like you never know for sure if you'll be able to use any of these up. But, um, so now I have simultaneously my finished five by Cinco de Mayo and finished six by summer. And, um, I don't know. It'll just be exciting. And I, I do like doing two simultaneously. It's kind of exciting. It's like a nail biter. You never know how it's going to end. So, um, yeah, if you guys are doing this as well, please let me know what products you have chosen. And I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what I chose. And, um, that is it, I think. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you soon. Bye.